Welcome back everybody. Gonna be doing another Poker 101 video and today we're gonna to be talking about the positions around the poker table. And I'm not really gonna get into which positions are better or worse or who has the advantage, disadvantage in any given hand. I'm strictly just talking about the names of the positions and the order that they go in. The standard number amount of players that could be on a table at any given time is eight. Around the country, there's some card clubs and casinos that you can have up to 10, but today we're just gonna talk about the standard. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to show you how I normally do on these videos using this table. So I'm gonna show you this and hopefully that helps a little bit with the visual. So as you know, a poker table is an oval type shape and you may have heard in my videos that I say seat number five, seat number six, or just call it a specific number. What I'm referring to is where the players are seated at the table. The numbers one through eight go in a clockwise order and the dealer is always in the middle on one side of the table. So picture the dealer in the middle on one side and directly to the dealer's left is seat number one. And then to seat number one's left is number two. Seat number three, four, five, all the way around to seat number eight on the dealer's right. If you're walking up to a poker table and standing directly in front of the dealer, then seats one through four are on your right and then seats five through eight are on your left. With me so far? Those are just the numbers. What I really wanna go over is the names of the positions and which order in rotation is the betting order. I'm just gonna ramble off the names of all the positions and then we're gonna go over each one in detail. So you have the small blind, the big blind, the under the gun, middle position, the low jack, high jack, cutoff, and button. So those are gonna be around here somewhere, just so you don't forget. And on every hand, the button position has a button similar to this. It might not always say dealer on it, but it has a button of some sort in front of them. That indicates to the dealer where to start giving out the cards and who starts the betting order. In Texas Hold'em, there's a thing called the blinds position, the small blind and the big blind. Think of them both like antes or starter money to get things going. So if you can picture in the jungle, if there's a dead carcass just in the middle of nowhere, there'd be a reason for all the animals to fight for it, to engage. And in this case, instead of fighting for food, it's just the dollar amount that we decide to put in the middle. Those dollar amounts vary depending on what the game is listed for. In my videos, I play one, two, one, three, two, five, 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 ten. So kind of varies, but in this case, we're just gonna stick to one, two, or one dollar, two dollar. The first person to start the antes are the blinds, small blind and big blind. The small blind puts in the lower denomination, so in this case, a dollar, and the big blind puts in the higher denomination, which is two dollars. And these antes, like I mentioned, are just to get things going. So the small blind puts in a dollar, the big blind puts in two dollars, and to the big blind's left, remember, clockwise, is the under the gun. I'm not really sure where that name came from or any of the names of any of the positions, to be honest. And if you guys have any idea on where they came from, let me know down in the comments because those will be pretty cool facts to know. But back to the under the gun, that's the next person in the betting order. And to that player's left is the middle position. This position name is a little bit easier to remember because middle position, it's in the middle of the table, middle of the order, pretty easy to remember. And the next position in the betting order to the middle position's left is called the low jack. So back at the low jack, the next in the betting order is called the high jack. Those two are pretty easy to remember. It's kind of like the small blind and big blind. Small is first in the order, big is next. Same thing with this, the high jack and the low jack. The low jack is first, and the high jack is next in order. So after the low jack and the high jack, the next in the betting order, remember to the left of the high jack, it's always to the left. Think of a clock, clockwise to the left. It's like that song, what is it? To the right, to the right. But in this case, it's to the left, to the left. So remember, to the left, clockwise. And that position is called the cutoff. Again, I don't really know why they call it that or where that name came from. So if you have any idea, let me know, but that's what it's called, the cutoff. And to the left of the cutoff is the button. Remember, that's the player that has one of these in front of him. 
Again, it doesn't have to say dealer on it, just some sort of button figure indicates to the dealer who actually gives out the cards which order they deliver those cards. So those are all of the positions and the names of the positions at a poker table. So again, we have the small blind, big blind, the under the gun, middle position, the low jack, the high jack, the cutoff, and the button. So those eight. Because I'm sure you've seen in my videos, I always put which position I'm in. I put on the bottom left of the screen my hand, and just above that, I put the position I'm in, whether that be the middle position, the cutoff, the button, any of them. I always indicate which position I'm currently in in the hand. Hopefully that helps and clarifies any of the confusion that you may have about what are the letters above my hand in my videos. It's just clarifying which position I am in the given hand that I'm currently going over. This was just a super short video going over the positions, the names of the positions, and the betting order that everybody goes in. And in the future, I'm gonna go over in a little bit more detail the positions and perhaps which positions are better or worse than others or maybe even strategy in those positions. But for this one, hopefully you guys learned something. Like the video if you liked it. Remember, be grateful, be thankful. Enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I'm Matty Ice. This is Gaines Poker. Peace out.